Bruce, which is to the left as we look at it, was built in the 1700s. The new part of the house, which is to the right, is federal period and was built in the mid 1800s. The barn was built about the same time as the main house. It consists of a hayloft and a shed for animals. You can see better the old part of the house to the left. Right there. It's a distinctive sloping roof, roof line. Over to the right, we see the federal style period. Quick survey of the grounds shows way over to the right where the garden was and still is on occasion. More over here to the left, area that used to be the chicken coop. And then behind the barn, we see the area where the cows used to feed. The big tree that we see here, the maple, was planted by Uncle Joe and Aunt Julie. We will now move down to the house itself and take a better look. Here's another angle of the house. You can see the driveway. It used to be gravel. It was just paved in the last 20-25 oh, years. And behind the barn, across the street, the old cotton place. Once again, behind the, behind the barn here, we have the corn crib where we used to shuck the ears of corn for feed. A large maple tree. And once again, the barn. We now get a slightly better view of the house. Joey in front of the truck. Steps leading up to the house. From the steps leading up to the house, they could walk out to the pump, which still works and gives very nice water. Excellent tasting. Again, front of the house and here's the entrance to the barn this is the area where the animals were kept and this is a large sliding door again the entrance to the barn Notice the windows over the doorway, which permitted light to enter. Inside the barn, we notice the door to the, so the animals could go to the outside through the back there. We will now proceed inside. This is the stall area. Stalls for the Angus were here, and the work plow horses were kept in this stall here, and then down this dark passageway there was a door to the hayloft area. Again the Angus, the the fence has been taken down. The door to the, well, what was a holding room and feeding area. Tool racks. And the back windows.
overhead to see the beams. Back down here, we see what used to be ladder to the hayloft, ending in two beams, which I am going to have to replace this winter. Hi, Joe. Hi, little Jojo. Jojo. Hey Jojo. Oh. Okay. Hey. From the shed, there are the two garages and the steps leading up hey. to the kitchen area and the porch and the pantry, which is the small window over here to the right behind the lamp. This is the door to the house. You can see how the roof has a distinctive angle to it caused by its age. And the chimney has some loose bricks which will have to be replaced. This chimney goes both to the dining room and to the kitchen. Over to the right more, the federal style part of the house. The large bay window is in the den. Two upper windows are in Uncle Joe's old bedroom. And the top window is in the attic. The window down to the right was Grandma and Grandpa's bedroom and is now occupied by Uncle Joe. I tripped over the drain pipe. This area here is the front yard, or backyard actually, a small area that for many years is where we all would sit and enjoy the sun. Once again, looking at the entrance to the sun room or porch and kitchen and front or back steps we see a pass or a pathway here alongside the garage leading to the side yard and which we a small roof which we can just barely make out over here which is the outhouse so now we'll look at that closer this is the outhouse which is still functional and Grandpa Fidel preferred it and used it year-round. There's a small window. It's a three-holer. Up to the side of the barn here, you see the large window in the hayloft. You notice one of the panes is broken. That was broken by Cousin Russell and myself throwing snowballs about 10 years ago. From here, we also get a better shot of the back of the barn. Well, I mean the front of the barn, I'm sorry. And the door to the animal barn and the large doors to the hay, hay loft. Plus the hill behind where the old shed used to be. This brick walk running along behind the house was built by Uncle Joe. 
some years ago and with all the plants along it is quite beautiful in the springtime. Again we can see another angle of the small backyard or sitting area and the barn and up to the old shed. which collapsed some years ago. Some farm equipment up on the hill. The ridge behind the house, which is to the west, so that the sun sets behind it, giving many beautiful sunsets. Moving back over to the side of the house, we see the bulkhead leading to the basement, which is dirt, the side door, and the windows on this side of the house, the upper left one being Uncle Joe's bedroom, upper right being Aunt Aggie's old bedroom, lower right being living room. And lower left being Grandma and Grandpa's old bedroom. Here we see Uncle Joe just arrived back. I thought you have the front all right. Oh, not yet. Oh, this is a picture with sound. Huh? This is a picture with sound. You can watch it on your TV. Walking up to his. Want me to back the truck up? Yeah. Okay. Tossing me the keys. Okay. Okay. Want me to hand you this table here? Where'd this wheel come from? I could use that. Okay. Where are the chairs they threw away? Oh. <coughs> Hi, little Joe. Weather or so much work? Oops. I'll grab this end if you grab this end.
let me move my camera.